In just two minutes, I'm gonna teach you how to take any picture of a room and then change its perspective in Photoshop just like that. So let's do it! So, open the image in Photoshop, find the Layers panel, right-click on the layer and convert it to a smart object. That way, whatever you do now, you can edit later. Speaking of edit, go to Edit, Perspective Warp. Now, I'm gonna create some planes to help Photoshop understand the perspective of this image. Let's start with the floor. Click and drag to create the first plane and then move the corners to match the perspective. These lines here are so helpful, just make sure they're parallel to the lines of the image. Perfect. Click and drag to create another plane and if the corners are close enough, they will snap together. So now let's adjust the position of these two corners here. Awesome, create a third plane, snap, snap, and adjust this corner. You just defined the perspective, so what? Uh, you didn't do anything. We all know what the perspective is. Well, up here in the options bar, let's switch from layout, which is the mode that's currently activated, to warp. And now, take a look at that. Drag this corner here, left and right, to rotate the room. Isn't that awesome? You can also use these auto warp buttons. And when you're done, click here to confirm. And if you change your mind and want to edit the perspective warp, you can simply double click on the perspective warp smart filter here to open it again. Smart objects, smart filters, what are these things? Just watch the video in the description. But what about the empty areas around the room? Here, here, and here. Well, crop them. There's a crop tool in Photoshop, remember? Activate it and crop it from the top, from the bottom, from the right, press enter, and there's still an empty area. I know, I know. <sighs> the magic wand tool, click to select that area, go to select, modify, expand, expand it a little bit, 10 pixels in this case, click OK, create a new layer, go to edit, content aware fill, I'll leave everything as is and click OK, and done. Happy? 